Welcome to ResearchMD.com. My name is Dr. Pramil and today we're going to talk about the role of turmeric in increasing your vitamin D level. Again, uh, my name is Dr. Pramil. I work as an associate professor of medicine in one of the large medical schools in the United States, also a chief medical officer for uh, one large medical system in the United States. So <clears throat> when we talk about um, vitamin D deficiency uh, in the uh, in the world is one of the most common deficient vitamins okay almost 50 percent of the people suffer from vitamin D deficiency that equals around like um, I mean you know if you look at the numbers almost like a more than a billion people suffer from vitamin D deficiency and it can lead to many many things okay mainly the bone the muscles and recent studies have um, also linked to <clears throat> COVID infection um, cardiovascular disease so when we talk about um, vitamin D level, um, if it is uh, less than 12, that's the most severe and less than 20 is considered uh, deficient uh, um, levels of vitamin D. We usually measure the 25 hydroxy vitamin D in the blood to measure the vitamin D level. Okay, <clears throat> now when we talk about turmeric, everyone knows about turmeric as um, there was a lot of reports uh, coming about the medicinal properties. It's usually um, in in India or the South Asian countries and um, the um, turmeric I mean if you look at it it contains curcumin the one is almost like six percent of turmeric have like curcumin that is the one actually the property have a lot of benefits okay when you look at the one fresh like the ground turmeric you can get like 200 milligrams of uh, um, turmeric and turmeric has been used in Ayurvedic medicine Chinese medicine and like Siddha or Inani a um, lot of alternative medicine is a big role in it okay <laughs> So this study, now we, let's look at the evidence. What is the scientific evidence uh, behind um, you know, our presentation today? This study was published in the BMC and it's a triple blind randomized control study. When you talk about randomized control study, it has like a lot of weight. This is a triple blinded randomized control study. So it's a very, very strong study. They looked at around 78 subjects. They gave them like 500 milligrams of curcumin and um, study continued for three months and they measured the um, vitamin D level and did they increase. Okay, so uh, based on the study, the results clearly indicate uh, curcumin has a big role, 500 milligrams of curcumin uh, on a daily basis can increase your vitamin D level. Or, you know, if you, um, if you cannot take it, please make sure you add curcumin to your daily diet. That also helps in the vitamin D. Um, let's say if you go to a doctor and you find out the doctor told you had a vitamin D level is low, and what are the other alternatives? than taking the vitamin D pill. So you can always consider alternative medicine. Curcumin can decrease, uh, can increase the vitamin D level uh, in blood. Okay, thank you so much for watching. God bless, we'll be back with another presentation soon. Thank you.